trains. Well, get set for There Goes a Train. We'll learn about trains of all shapes and sizes. Hi kids, I'm Engineer Dave. Well, you know, I'm not a real engineer, but the real engineers have let me pretend for the day so that you and I can learn all about trains and what they do and how they work. Now, obviously, this is not a locomotive. This is what's called a speeder. Speeders are used out on the track for doing maintenance work and moving the crews around. So what do you say, you and I go for a ride? Let her go, Jack. Chances are you've never gotten this close to one of these big locomotives, and you never should unless you have special permission from the railroad and a guide to show you around. You probably didn't realize just how big and powerful they are. They are big and powerful. They weigh hundreds of tons, and when they're going at full speed, it takes over a mile to stop them. So if you don't remember anything else after watching There Goes a Train, I hope you'll remember this. Don't ever play on the railroad tracks. It's not only illegal, but it is extremely dangerous. Well, this is a typical locomotive like you'd see hauling freight. And let's talk a little bit about how they work. This part up here is a big diesel engine. It has 20 cylinders, great big cylinders. And it causes a shaft to turn that runs a turbine. Now, the turbine is located in there. And it's a big generator. It generates electricity. So that electricity is then put down by the wheels, in between the wheels, there are great big electric motors. So really what this is, is a diesel electric engine. The diesel provides the power that turns the turbine, that generates the electricity, that causes the motors to turn the wheels. Come on over here, I'll show you something else. This is a huge air compressor because all the brakes on the train and on the cars that it pulls are powered by air pressure. Now the motor turns this, which creates the air pressure, that allows the train to stop. As you can see, these engines are really big. You're really high in the air when you're up here on the roof. Now, if we go down here, you notice the headlights. When the train is running, these headlights are always on for safety, so anyone can see you coming. I want you to look down here. This is the very front of the train, and that's kind of a plow device. That's for traveling in the winter. It pushes all the snow off the tracks. Let's go inside. Now we've come into the cab of this big locomotive and I want you to meet somebody. This is Engineer Larry. How you doing? How you doing? You know, the first thing I noticed, Larry, about the cab that's unusual to me, there's no steering wheel. Well, basically, this engine just goes right where the tracks are laid out. Wherever they, just, they go, wherever that's where, they go, go. That's where we're going to go. Okay, how about the controls? Basically, it's all set up where you go forward, you go backwards, and go fast or stop. And that's all there is to it. Now, believe it or not, sometimes the 4,000 horsepower that this big engine provides is not enough. So what they do in a case like that is they hook more than one of these big engines together. As you can see, there are three of them hooked together here. Come here, and I'll show you how they do it. This is the coupling device. It holds the two trains together. It's kind of like holding hands like that, and it keeps them from 
coming apart, but there's enough flexibility there that when they go around curves and things, it can move. These hoses are electrical hoses here. These are the control hoses, and of course, this one's the most important. This is the air hose. Like I told you, the air hose is what powers the brakes. Let's take a look at one of these brake cylinders. This is a brake cylinder on the, one of these engines. And as this works, the air is pumped in, pushes this lever, and that causes the brakes to clamp down on the wheels and slow the train down. Another device you may not know about is sometimes the wheels slip. There's a little squirting device that actually squirts sand onto the track that gives the train traction and creates friction so they can get up steep hills. This big car behind me is a box car. You'll see a lot of those on freight trains because they're used for hauling all kinds of different cargo. Now this next car up is a tanker car. You'll see a lot of those too. This particular one is full of liquefied petroleum gas. Now this gives us a good opportunity to take a close up look at the wheels on these cars. If you look close, you'll see that that little lip there, only about an inch thick, is actually what holds the train on the track. Pretty amazing, huh? Now, I know what you're probably thinking. You're thinking we're at the airport instead of the railway yard. The fact is, that tower behind us is much like the tower that they have at an airport. But instead of controlling airplanes, it controls trains, and lots of them. We're at the Santa Fe Railway Yard in Barstow, California, one of the biggest railway yards in the country. So let's go in the tower and see what they do. From high above the rail yard, you can see for miles. It's from here that the controller sorts the cars. Maybe the easiest way to explain what happens in a railroad yard like this is to compare it to a giant post office. Only instead of sorting mail, they're sorting railroad cars. They call it humping because they roll them over a hump in the track, cut them loose, and then they actually coast down to the switches where they're switched off into the different trains and different combinations of trains. Once they're all hooked up, then they're sent off all over the country. Trains are put together like building blocks. They lock together automatically, but the air hoses have to be hooked up by people. This is a dangerous job. Once hooked together, the trains can stretch for miles and miles. Okay, we're all set to learn about passenger trains now. And to do that, we've come to one of the biggest train stations in the country. This is Union Station in downtown Los Angeles. We're about to go board Amtrak. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go. Union Station is huge. It's almost 100 years old. And it's the center for passenger rail transportation in all of Southern California. It's here where you can buy your tickets, check on departure times, and race to the platform. You don't want to be late for your train. Union Station is also the home of LA's underground subway system. And this is where you'll find Metrolink, the commuter railroad. Metrolink is designed to haul lots of people from home to work and to do it as quickly as possible. Thank you, Jackson. Jackson is one of the uh, baggage people here at Union Station in Los Angeles. Now this is it, this is the Amtrak Superliner. And as you can see, I'm gonna be the uh, pretend conductor today. Now, a Superliner, a passenger train, is a lot different than a freight train. It's kinda like a big hotel on wheels. It's got uh, sleeper compartments, it's got a restaurant on board, and of course, a big engine that pulls the train. And there are lots of different jobs and lots of different types of cars. So we're going to find out about all that. So what do you say we get on board? Come on along. Hi there. Hi. How are Hi. you? Fine. All aboard! <laughs> Ah, 
out of here. Bye. Engineers have an important job. It's up to them to drive the train and to make sure there's nothing on the track. They blow their horn to warn you that they're coming. Okay, Dave, uh, a conductor's job is very important. You're like a captain of a ship. So you're, you're really in charge of the train? Yeah, you're over in charge of everybody. Even more the, than the engineer? Yeah, including the engineer. Oh, and this so is one of my assistants, Bonnie, and I'm going to let her take you back here and show you exactly what a conductor is. Hi, Bonnie. Hi, nice to meet you. You're going to teach me how to collect a ticket and do conductor stuff, huh? Yes. All right. Thanks. So you're on your way. Thanks, Conductor Joe. We'll see you later. Important things of being conductors collecting tickets. Uh -huh. These are the tickets I've collected so far. Okay. Keep track of those and don't lose them. All right. Okay. So I just collect the tickets. Yes, that's part of the job. <laughs> I think I can do that. I can collect the tickets. Hello, are you enjoying your trip so far? Well, I'm conductor Dave, and I'm collecting the tickets today. That's two for. Uh, Perfect, Santa Barbara. How are you, sir? Just fine. Just yes, fine. how's the trip so far? Are you enjoying it? Very Well, oh, great. If there's anything you need at all, you just call Conductor Dave. I'm the uh, conductor today. And how are you folks doing today? Just enjoying fine. yourself? Can I have your tickets here? Enjoying your trip? Well, you continue to. And if you need anything, you don't hesitate to call me, all right? Thank you, sir. Enjoy your trip. I've been listening. I can collect the tickets. I can collect the tickets. Hi, how are you? Can I can I get your ticket? Well, thank you very much. Here, let me put this up here for you. All right. It shouldn't be down there where it can cause cause a problem. Oh. Excuse me. I'm I'm very sorry about that. I, I that's, that's okay. I'll I'll clean these up right away. And, Get to collect the rest of the tickets. Here's here's your bag back. I'm sorry. There, here we go. We got the tickets. One of the neat things to do on a train is to walk from end to end. You have to be careful where the cars are hooked together because they're hooked together with kind of a rubber tunnel thing that you walk through, and the floor actually moves a little bit. A little bit scary, but kind of fun too. Now here's something else that's fun. The doors are kind of what you might expect to find on a spaceship. You just push a button and they open right up. Come on. Hey, did you ever see a train that appears to be going in the wrong direction with the engine in the back and then nothing in the front? Well, actually what's in the front is one of these cars. It's called a cab car and it actually has a little control room in it. This is where the engineer sits. Even though the locomotive is on the back pushing, he actually controls the train from the cab car control room, which is just like this. Another great thing about traveling on the train is that anytime you get uh, hungry or thirsty, you can come to the snack car and get something to eat or drink. Hi. Hi, can I help you? I think I'd like an iced tea. Iced tea, okay. Now this is a really different kind of train car. As you can tell, there's lots of windows everywhere. This is the lounge car. You come in here and watch TV or have a cool drink or just sit down and watch the view. That's what I'm gonna do right now. Even though I'm supposed to be working now, thank you. All right. Conductor Dave, you can't sleep on the job. You gotta go to the dining car. Oh, good. Okay. Get to work. I'm sorry. Let me. I'll get these and I'll be. Right. Gotta get my tickets. I'll be right there. I'll work in the, in the dining car. Now this is Angela. Angela's in charge in the dining car. Okay, Angela, I'm ready to go to work. Dave, do you know what you're gonna do today? You're in the you're in the dining car on a train. You're gonna wait on people. You're gonna wait on tables just like a waiter. You're gonna be a service does. attendant. Service okay. attendant. Service attendant. Yeah, I can do that. I can do that. I can do that. Hello. 
And welcome to the Amtrak Fine Dining Car. And what are we in the mood for today? Perhaps some pasta, some souffle? <laughs> no, what would it be, my breast. lovely? A grilled chicken breast? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And what to drink, my dear? Ice water with the lemon. Oh, 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 yes. And sir, what would it be for you? I'll have a burger. A burger. A rubber burger. Or perhaps a well done burger. Medium, burger. Medium. medium burger. I will be right back. Enjoy your trip. And thank you so much for dining with us on Amtrak today. Be right back. Dave, Dave, listen. Are you paying attention? You have to wait on people. Dave. Yeah, yeah. No, I was listening. I, I can, I'm ready to go to work. Do this? Okay. Okay, so now go to work. I just go to work. Sorry. What's going on here? Don't you know what? The... Sir, I'm really, I'm, I'm really, uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, sir. I'll get, I'll get you something new right away. There's your, your, your chicken. I didn't order chicken. No, uh, you, a burger, right? A burger. Yes. And uh, some French fries and a Coke. And I'll be, I'll be right there. I'm sorry. This is one of the sleeper cars. As you can see, there's lots of room in here to sit down, relax, put your feet up. This even makes into a bed so you can spend the night. And you have your own bathroom. Can't beat that. All the comforts of home. Now you and I are going to get a rare glimpse behind the scenes at Amtrak. You see, most people never get to come back here. This is the Los Angeles maintenance yard where they work on the trains. It's a very dangerous place to be. And we're always very safety conscious when we're around trains. So it's time to switch hats. And we're going to put on some protective glasses to protect our eyes. And of course, the hard hat to protect our head. Now we're ready to look around. Here you'll find trains, trains, and more trains. Even trucks that act like trains. These are used for track repair. That locomotive back there in the roundhouse is Amtrak's newest. It's their pride and joy. It's called Genesis. And guess what? They're going to pull it out of the roundhouse, put it on the turntable, put it on the track, and guess who gets to drive it? <laughs> Engineer Dave. This is called a turntable. It's used to turn the trains around. It's been here a long time. In fact, it worked just as well for the old steam engines as it does for Genesis today. Engineer Chuck, he's the engineer on Genesis, Amtrak's state-of-the-art train, and he's going to show me how to run it. So what, how do we do? What do we do? That's what right, do I Dave. touch? <laughs> this is going to be real easy for you. Okay. What we have here, this makes the train go forward or backward, right. and this is the throttle. It's like the gas pedal on a car. Hmm. This is your train brakes. keeps the train from going too fast. And this is your engine brake here. This will keep the engine stopping and starting when you want it to. Yeah, we have a I can do computer that. screen up here, and we have all kinds of stuff yeah. that tells you what's going on yeah. in the back of the train. I can, I can do that. You have a horn and a bell, <laughs> and you just look out the window. I can do that. Watch out for people. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. It's your turn yeah, now. Right, you go ahead. Right. We're ready to go? Absolutely. It's all yours. Take it Straight away. Straight ahead, huh? Okay, I think I got it. I'll break up, and away we go. Engine's cranking. Engine's cranking. And, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We're, wait a minute. We're, we're, we're going the wrong way. The other way, other oh, way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's it. Stop. Oh, geez, I'm sorry, man. Are you listening? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Guess I guess I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't listening. Uh, let's, can I try again? Doing a good job. Oh, Take it forward now. Okay, forward. That's like it. that. This comes back, the brake's off. 
And, and away we go. All right. This is great. I just had to play closer attention, that's all. And listen when people are giving you instructions. Now we're moving. One of the best places to learn about trains, especially old trains, if you like them, is to come to a railroad museum. We've come to the San Diego Railroad Museum, so what do you say we go take a look around? Come on. Trains are fun. At the San Diego Museum, you'll find old cabooses, big engines, more cabooses, steam engines, crane trains, Still more cabooses and more steam engines, too. Now, I know you know what this is. This is a great big, huge old steam locomotive. Now, this one doesn't look very pretty. It's kind of rusty because it's getting ready for restoration. But I think we can use it to explain basically how one works. First, this car back here is called the tender. This is where they haul the water and the fuel. And the fuel can be either wood or maybe oil or coal. Now that is put in the firebox. And you'll find a great big huge firebox back in this area here. That creates the heat under the boiler. And the boiler's where the water is. That's that big long tube there. That water turns into steam and eventually ends up in that dome up there. That's the steam dome. And then it is pumped through the pipes into this area here. Now this is a big pressure chamber. And what that steam does is create a lot of pressure that drives the big levers, boom, 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 that turns the wheels that makes the train go. It wasn't all that long ago that the steam engines ruled the rails. As you can see, the train engines come in all shapes and sizes. This little baby here is called an industrial switcher. It's used for moving lighter loads around train yards. Pretty neat, huh? Well, you probably noticed that uh, the appearance of freight trains hasn't really changed that much over the years, except for one thing. You won't see any of these babies anymore. This is a little red caboose, as you might know it. And the purpose of the caboose was a place for the conductor to live and to conduct his business. And of course, it had a tower on top so he could get up there and see all the way to the front of the train and make sure everything was all right. There aren't any cabooses anymore because, well, they don't have to work the long hours so they don't have to spend the night on the train, so they don't need a place to sleep. And with modern electronics, well, it pretty much takes care of the safety of trains. One of the great things about the San Diego Railroad Museum is that they have a real running, working railroad. And this is it. Here it comes now. Hi, kids. My name is Denby Jones. I'm director of museum operations for the San Diego Railroad Museum in Campo, California. Come on out and join us. We've got steam engines. We have diesels. We have old cars. We have new cars. And we have an hour and a half train trip. So get hold of your folks. Tell them where we are. And come on out to Campo.
Engineer Dave, you're going to be brakeman today. I have to give you this radio. Brakeman? For, yes, you're going to be brakeman. You're going to be communicating with the engineer. Well, i got to start as brakeman, I say, before I... You have to start as brakeman today. Okay. So use the radio to talk to the engineer because you're on the back of the train and he cannot see you. So he doesn't know what you're doing or where you are. So, so that's an important job. Very important job. Hmm. Radio keeps you safe and the train safe. All right. Thank okay. you. Have a good day. Thanks. Well, the first job as a brakeman is to remove this this brake. All right. This is Brakeman Dave to the engineer. We're ready to roll to take her away. Engine 2104, this is Campo Dispatch. Emergency, emergency. Twenty one oh four engine, come in. This is an emergency call. Emergency, emergency, acknowledge. Campo Dispatch, this is this is Brakeman Dave. Campo Dispatch to Brakeman Dave. We are unable to contact the engine. You've got to get up to that engine. We've got to stop that train. We have a car on the tracks. Over. There's a car on the tracks? Emergency, emergency. What about the engineer? I'll, I'll call the engineer. This is Brakeman Dave to the engineer. Brakeman Dave to the engineer. we, we got a car on the tracks. Brakeman Dave to the engineer. This radio must be broken. I'm gonna have to get to the front of the train and stop it myself.
Louis, so I won't run out of gas again. You guys, be careful around railroad tracks from now on. We will. Well, we've certainly learned a lot about trains today, haven't we? We've seen big trains, little trains, diesel trains, steam trains, passenger trains, and freight trains. But if you'd still like to learn more about trains, don't forget they have lots of great books with lots of great pictures at your local library. Or you can visit a museum for trains, like this one in Campo, California. Well, I can see by my uh, special train watch here that it's about time for this engineer to make his next run. So until next time, all aboard. My name is Jim, a Federal Railroad Administration Safety Inspector. Hope you enjoyed learning about trains today, and there goes the train. But one thing we need to remember is just how dangerous it is to play around railroad tracks and to walk on railroad tracks. It takes approximately a mile and a half to stop a 55 mile an hour train, and walking on railroad tracks is against the law. So be safe, ride the trains, and don't walk on tracks. Thank you. I'm construction foreman Dave. I'm firefighter Dave. I'm pilot Dave. I'm truck driver Dave. And I'm truck driver Becky. I'm engineer Dave. I'm deputy Dave. And I'm deputy Becky. Join us as we explore all sorts of fun stuff and get in all sorts of trouble. Live action video for kids. Get in on the action and collect the whole series. In There Goes an Airplane, we'll fly all kinds of airplanes. This is one of the biggest airplanes in the whole world. Oh! There goes a fire truck. We'll see what it takes to be a real firefighter. Firefighters have to be specially equipped in the clothes they wear as well in order to stay safe when fighting fires. There's nothing else like it in the whole world. So get in on the action now. <laughs> and there goes a bulldozer. We'll actually drive some of the biggest machines in the world. It's like a great big shark's jaw. What it does is it bites down on the rocks and then crunches them into smaller pieces so that they can be recycled. He told me not to touch one of these. I shouldn't have done that. And there goes a truck. We'll learn all about big rigs. The fuel goes into the engine. It explodes and drives the pistons up and down. Bang, 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 bang. Wait a minute. This is not supposed to lift me. Wait, it's hooked on me. And there goes the train. It's all aboard for fun. As you can see, these engines are really big. All aboard. <laughs> and there goes a the police car. We'll learn all about police work and the neat equipment they use. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go fly. Live action video. It's big, it's exciting, and it's lots of fun. 
Hey kids, if you like the action you just saw, you're going to want to collect the whole live action video series. Coming soon, there goes a spaceship, there goes a race car, there goes a boat, and lots more. 247, David, come in for a call. 247, 247 David, that's, that's us. us. See, See you next time. time.